Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Sagimatazical. Hi, Saggy. How are ya? <laughs> Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. So um, first of all, I'm already feeling a similarity between the Sagittarius and the Scorpio reading. Okay, I just did the Scorpio reading and now I'm doing your reading here and I, you know, I went through my clearing situation and I started channeling your energy and you just, your energy just started talking immediately. Um, and the first card that came out is the Four of Wands and overall energy in your pre-shuffle is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is the first card that came out in the overall energy in the official reading for Scorpio. And I also believe, I think, I think they got Four of Wands too in the pre-shuffle. I don't remember. Um, but this is talking about having a solid spiritual foundation for you. Okay. Also, some of you are looking to move. Some of you are looking to, to find a home, change homes, maybe even change jobs, change careers is something that I'm hearing here too. Um, but it's slow going. There's no denying this. Knight of Pentacles, it is slow going. And right now you're in the process of keeping things in check, keeping things in balance, maybe keeping your finances in check, maybe even keeping, you're trying to keep your mind in check because you have been through some shit. <laughs> You've been through the ringer, Sag, okay? And we know this because of the reading that I did for you guys two months ago, was it? Was it August? Where I was, where like I started crying in the middle of the reading because it was so damn emotional. 
it's like you're coming out of that period. And I feel like many of you have really done a very good job at processing a lot, may not, maybe not everything, but a lot of what may have been holding you back in the past, okay? So what I'm feeling here is yes, you're, you've, you've done a good job at processing, but now, which means that you've kind of gotten a lot of the obstacles out of the way. That's really what this feels like here. But now you gotta get the momentum going getting you towards where it is you want to be, okay? Because um, there was a lot of momentum in the past surrounding all the past circumstances that were so damn damaging and painful and detrimental to you, right? But now that you're clearing all that out, you've, got, you've successfully cleared a lot of that out, you've got to start getting the momentum going in the direction where you want to be heading, okay? That's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of an effort. It's not something that you can rush. The Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, now, especially with generating momentum towards uh, in the direction that you want to be going in your life towards what it is you're trying to manifest, yes? You do want to take that slowly but surely, and you do want to be aware of every little piece of evidence or every little technique or every little thought that you are using to generate that momentum because you don't want to be putting anything in there that's going to sabotage the situation. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a blueprinter, okay, is a planner, and he's so, so big on planning and doing everything correctly that sometimes he can get stagnant, okay? But his goal is to do it, do it right, do it once, move on, and not have to come back to it again, okay? He doesn't want to have to reach his destination or get just about to his destination only to find out that, oops, I can't go any further because I have to go back and fix something that I did wrong or incorrectly in the past. Knight of Pentacles ain't having that shit. <laughs> okay, he's gonna do everything in his power to make sure that he does not have to deal with that. So, for you, in gaining this momentum, Sag, you need to take this slowly, take it day by day, moment by moment. You're gonna get there. Don't worry, okay? Your success is assured because you have declared that you will be successful or you hold the vibration of being successful, all right? So don't worry about how long it takes. The universe has got your back. Okay. Let's get into the rest of this here for you, Sag. Massagemataz, massagematazicals, yield. Let's do this. Let's see what we've got for you. For the month of October 2019. All right. I'm going to give it one more shuffle. Okay, here we go, Sag. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag, I'm seeing a lot of, whoa, um, <laughs> that was cool. I'm seeing a lot of orange energy for you, actually. One, we're giving this five shuffles. Um, and so what I'm hearing with that orange energy is emotional value. And what I feel like Spirit is saying there um, is foc uh, focus on what has emotional value for you. Also, focus on what type of emotional value are you finding in your circumstances surrounding you. So if something is making you feel bad or sad or depressed, you might want to, well, you definitely want to work on cutting that out. If something is making you happy, feel elated, feel joyful, feel powerful, feel invincible, unless it's some sort of narcotic, I would say keep using, keep, no, God, no, keep going with that, yes? I'm not trying to influence anyone into drug use. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Three. Oh gosh, I've lost count. Three. Four. 
four from a Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. We're just going to call this five. Here we go. All right. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Sag. We've got, ooh, the Nine of Cups. Aw, Sag. Beautiful. Your wishes are coming true. Satisfaction is guaranteed. I mean, as long as you stay in that abundant feeling energy of like, yeah, I got this, you know, believe it. Believe that you got it, okay? That's all the universe needs you to do. The, need, the universe needs you to believe that you got this, that you're powerful, that you're strong, that you're confident, that you deserve the blessings that you have been praying for. That's all the universe needs. So keep it up. Underneath the Nine of Cups, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. Your hard work is paying off underneath that. You've got the High Priestess. And then finally, look at that, Sag. The Six of Wands. Victory. Overcoming obstacles. Go ahead and take your victory lap if you feel like you want to. Okay, there are unknown elements surrounding you, surrounding you right now, Sag. That's okay, all right? You're not gonna know all of the secrets. You're not gonna know what's around every corner, but what you can do is rely on your intuition, regardless of where it takes you. Okay, because your intuition is guiding you from a higher perspective. And check it out, guys. Intuitions are not in the business of lying. Okay? They're not designed that way. They have no reason to lie to you. So listen to it. Keep working. Keep striving. Because the hard work that you've been putting forth lately is paying off and also I'm feeling is about to pay off in a pretty big way, in a pretty significant way. I love this, Sag. Especially after coming from August, man, this is such an amazing turnaround for you guys. Like, I'm so proud of you, congratulations. Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half. You can look at this as the first half and second half of your month, or you could just look at it as the first half, second half of your reading. Whichever resonates for you, that is your call. Yes, first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. You got the Ace of Cups. Love, self-love, unconditional love. I'm feeling love pouring in for you from the universe, from the divine, from higher sources, from your higher self. It's always been happening, but you may have just been cut off from it. Well, now I think you're starting to experience it again. But also, this could be the love of someone else. You could have your eye on someone. They could have their eye on you. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Hermit. Now, see, this is definitely talking about self-love. Unconditional love for the self, getting to know yourself, going on a path. You may have been, oh no, well, okay, if we're just going to talk about since August, because that's when that reading came out where we were talking about all that past heartbreak. We'll just say, and, and, and it's entirely possible that you could have been on this path long before that, but we'll just say since August, you have been on this journey of self-discovery, which has been naturally, whether you are conscious of it or not, some of you have been consciously aware of it, but not fully conscious, consciously aware of it has been generating this sense of self-love. You have been working on filling your own cup. Or this could be the period that you're moving into right now, working on filling your own cup of divine love. Which also is going to have, is going to influence someone that matches that energy or that resonates with that energy towards you. Because they have a cup of full love for themselves too. So now you two can come together and like share that and be all like lovey-dovey and gross and give everybody around you diabetes because you're so damn sweet. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. In the first half of your reading here, you've got, woo, you've got the tower. Oh, oh shit. All right, well, that's, that's not bad. It's actually a good thing. And I do feel like that this is a leftover tower moment. You've got leftovers here, Sad. You're going to be eating well for a while, aren't you? Mm-hmm. That was a strong tower moment. <laughs> it sure as shit was. But it's a good thing. Because everything that has been standing in your way is being dismantled. 
ooh, at this moment, currently, by your own efforts, is what I just heard. Amen, brothers and sisters, amen. The tower is coupled with the Ten of Wands. See, all of this burden, all this bullshit you've been carrying on your back that probably was never yours to carry to begin with, it's all falling away. Slowly but surely and methodically. It's not something that can happen right away. Like, yes, spirit can come in and create a tower moment for you that catalyzes the destruction or the falling away of all these pieces, but they can't just come in and, and yank it away from you all at once because that would be way too traumatic. You gotta do this slowly but surely, piece by piece, methodically, that Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, three of wands. Oh, the momentum, yes. Because, okay, the three obviously comes after the two of wands, right? And in the two of wands, we're, 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 we're making a decision. We're, we're deciding on something. We're saying, hmm, which way do I wanna go that way? Okay, great. We've chosen a direction. We now reach the three of wands. The three of wands is an energy of um, waiting for a return on your investment, waiting for your ships to come in, which technically is a return on an investment, but also putting forth the effort or the momentum to follow through with the choice that you made. So the momentum that we were talking about in the beginning, this is your challenge right now in the first half of your reading here. And that momentum will be, or space for that momentum or the speed of that momentum will increase as you allow this tower moment to, to, to strip away all of the things that have been holding you back. This continual tower moment, ongoing. Like I said, you've got some leftovers to munch on here, honey boo boo. <laughs> Okay, three of wands is coupled with the chariot. Oh yes, there is another embodiment of that momentum. Keeping your thoughts and your balance, your thoughts and your emotions in check. Okay, so I've recently, I've been listening to Abraham Hicks a lot, okay? And Abraham speaks of um, getting into alignment with your inner self because your inner self is, um, guiding or directing you towards what it is you have shot a rocket of desire out for, right? Um, and Abraham says that Esther now has come to see herself. Esther is the, if you're not familiar with Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks is, the, is a woman that channels this collective consciousness that goes by the name of Abraham, right? And she does all these conventions and seminars in which she she gets goes into like a a, a quiet a, a state a state of trance, I guess you could say, and quiets her mind and allows Abraham to come through, and people can speak directly to Abraham and ask questions. But they are, but Abraham describes this as es Esther now sees herself as a pointer, right? Where she experiences the contrast and says, "Okay, I want that," and so then her inner being is like. Perfect, boo, I got you, let's go. And all Esther has to do is just get into that flow. Get into that flow, stay in that flow. And how do you know you're in that flow? If you're feeling good. Your emotions are your compass. And so now, as I was working through that in my mind, I started to see this as the chariot. Why? Because this individual in the chariot is now directing the sphinxes here or the balanced emotions here to get you where you want to go. He is, he or she is the pointer. And you can see these sphinxes as your inner being, guiding you there, clearing the path for you to follow to get to what it is you asked for. Boop, I, can't, I like drop that mic, drop it. Like I end the reading right there. This is too perfect. <laughs> But no, we still got more to talk about, so let's do it. But that's your challenge right now, and that's a beautiful thing. And so you have to allow yourself time to let this momentum build. It cannot happen over the, overnight, especially for a lot of you who are really dealing with a lot of circumstances from your past that you're healing from. You gotta clear that muck away so that you can have more energy or space to generate more momentum, to make what it is you want bigger, to expand, yes? This is beautiful. This is so beautiful, Sagittarius. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Sag. You've got mm, the King of Wands. Look at you, just sexy, oof. 
just exuding all kinds of confidence, self-assurity. Bitch, I got this. Yo, get out of my way. Please, just get out of my way. I really don't give a damn what you have to say about it. I'm going in this way. This is what I want, and I know I'm going to get it. Well, shit, Sag. I scared of you. <laughs> King of Wands is coupled with. Ooh, the queen of pentacles. So this is a balance of masculine and feminine energy for sure. This could be a counterpart situation. You Sagittarius being the fire sign here and your counterpart being an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, potentially. But also the queen of pentacles represents abundance. Look at you being all abundant and shit. All right. All right, Sag. I like it. I like it a lot. This is very good. This is very, very good. The power to manifest what it is that you need in the physical. That's what I'm seeing here. Especially, I'm seeing it especially in the Queen of Pentacles, okay? All right. Let's move forward. Getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You got. All right. There's that Nine of Wands again. Perseverance is key. All right. The universe knows what you're up against. Your higher self, your inner being, God, source, creator, the universe, whatever. We all see your struggle very, very clearly. Actually, we see it clearer than you do. Don't give up this time is what I just heard. That this time wasn't for everyone. Oh, it wasn't. OK, that this time wasn't for everyone. Don't give up because we see clearly what you are striving for and you are on your way there. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords again. Okay, so check it out, Sag. What you really need to be doing is resting, focusing on your inner work, allowing yourself the time to rest and transform, maybe even change a few perspectives here or there. Because I do see the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man, which does represent deep change in perspective, okay? Make time for rest. Sag, look, you can't rush this. And no matter, and I know, I know your energy. I know your energy, Sag, okay? You are very much the Knight of Wands. Just rushing in all willy-nilly, all fired up, woo, passionate, and just then on to the next and on to the next and on to the next. Not right now. Now is a time for contemplation. Now is a time for integration. Now it is a time for cleansing and clearing. Because look, you've been up against this, you're damn near your whole life, nine of wands. Let that energy subside. Let that momentum die down so that you can work, as that's dying down, you can work on generating the momentum of what it is you truly desire to manifest, to experience, whatnot, whatever, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Sag, you got. I told you, six of swords, man. You're healing, you're leaving the past behind you. You could even be, um, you could even be working on traveling and, 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 and that's the six of swords, that's the three of wands, that's also the chariot. All of those, all three of those cards represent some sort of travel and they also represent some sort of overseas travel or like long distance travel potentially, okay? But even still, if it's not actually physically traveling, it's mentally traveling. It's clearing out the past. It's, it's, moving from, uh, uh, it's moving away from rough waters and moving into calmer waters. But see, you can't even rush this. Think about it. If you're, if you're sailing choppy waters, you want to go as slowly and as carefully as possible, right? I mean, you've got waves to deal with. You don't necessarily know how high, well, you don't necessarily know what's in the water, right? And it might be dark. Slow and steady wins this race, Sag. Six of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the Seven of Swords. Six to the seven here, y'all. This is big. This is a change. And you may not really tr be trying to tell anybody about it. You may be real incognito about it. That's a good thing though. 
because I do feel like, especially for some of you, there are some forces around you that would be trying to work against you. So you don't really want to let everybody know on your plans about what it is you're trying to do, the moves you're trying to make, whatnot, whatever. So, okay, I'm going to stop reading into it now. I'm going to move on. But there you go. Stay there. I like that. It's good, Sag. That is very good. Keep it to yourself. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Also, some of you are moving away from deception. I mean... Easy peasy, right? That literally could mean some of you are moving away from deception. Maybe even deceptive tendencies. Neil. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Sag. Oh, God. That's not challenging at all. The sun. Mm, okay. Maybe believing in yourself. That's what I just heard. Believing that the sun is going to come back out, believing that everything is going to be okay, believing that everything is going to be okay and is going to work out for the best. Yes, that's your challenge. It's going to work out, I promise you, Sag. I mean, bro, sis, you've got the six of wands in your overall energy. You've got the nine of cups in your overall energy. You've got the six of swords here. You're moving away from the turmoil. You're gonna be successful, no doubt about it. The sun is coupled with the 10 of pentacles. Completion, family, home, career, stability. Hard work paying off. Challenges bearing fruit. It was all worth it in the end. That's what the sun says, especially coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. It was all worth it in the end. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Sag. Well, see, it's crazy, but both of your challenge sections are like really not on the surface. Don't seem that challenging at all. But belief and perseverance is where those two are fortified, okay? All right, closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Sag. You've got the Seven of Wands, stronger boundaries, belief in yourself. This is fortifying your, your, your new thoughts and belief system because there are, maybe there are some uh, individuals around you that are naysayers that may be trying to, to, to downplay you or tear you down. They see your vibration rising and it's triggering them and so they want to keep you down where they are and so they're going to, you know, fight tooth and nail. Um, this also could be your own thoughts that you're defending yourself against, okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the Two of Wands. Oh, I get it. For most of you, you have made your decision and so... Closing message, I'm going to take this as a closing message, or maybe, well, uh, both, closing message or potential outcome. But either way, I, I, I feel like you're going to be defending your decision. And to be quite honest, Sag, you really don't have to explain anything to anybody. It's none of their business. Don't feel like you have to explain yourself. Don't feel like you have to justify why you've decided to go in a new direction. It is, if they don't understand it, that's, uh, quite frankly, it's not for them to understand. The only, re the only person that really needs to understand it is the person that's living it. And who is that, Saj? I'm sorry, who is that? Oh, right, you. Oh, huh. Funny how that works, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's close out your reading here. Let's get your oracle guidance from the fairies for the month of October. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I cracked myself up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who needs to understand it? Oh, the person that's living it. Oh, right, you. Oh, huh. Gee, fancy that. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
for massage metazical sun whoa whoa okay the elf queen interesting okay i just heard this is a bit of a perspective shake up but you can handle it you have the elf queen introverted burden responsibility uh-oh Ooh. Did I just, no, I thought I just chipped a nail, chipped a nail. I would be so angry. I just did these last night. Don't listen to me, I'm rambling. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, no, actually, this is perfect. You have responsibilities that have accumulated to the point that you no longer feel free. You have dimmed your own bright light and the world longs for you to shine once again. One by one, I ask you to take these burdens Anything that feels heavy, whose energy does not come from love, but from fear, any demands and expectations that no longer meet your needs and release them with love. And that's actually, that's exactly what's, ha good God, that's exactly what's happening here. Between the Hermit and the Ace of Cups, you going within, finding your inner light, your inner sense of self, allowing that to shine, filling up your own cup, which is filling up your, 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 your potential to, to share and spread unconditional love, which is then part of this tower moment that is helping you release the burdens. Good God, that is terrifyingly accurate. <laughs> Okay, uh, there is no rejection in this gesture. It is simply time to reestablish your own personal boundaries. Good God, Sag. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands, your own personal boundaries. I don't care what you have to say about the, about the choice I've made. I've made it for myself. It's the direction I'm moving in. Please kindly get the fuck out of my way. Ooh. Okay, Sag. I think they hurt you. <laughs> you may even be carrying these burdens that rightfully or rightly belong to other people. Please release these now. Without this clearing, you may well feel you are carrying too much of you on your own shoulders and are unable to see the path ahead of you. As you release the beginnings of the sweet and tender freedoms that you are that you that are your birthright will make themselves known to you. You are now free to love and care for others more effectively as you will be acting out of love, not forcing yourself. If you clearly ask for support, other people will love and support you in all that you do. Wow. Like, I'm even impressed, like, damn. <laughs> So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out if you'd like a, your own personal reading. But with that, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November, which would be, oh, well, it's the end of November. That's your season. But anyway, for the month of November, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!